So the question is, a cube of 12 mm is painted on all sides. It is made up of small cubes of size 3 mm. If the big cube is split into those small cubes, the number of cubes that remain unpainted is... So this is a cube problem. This is a cube problem. So what happens is cube will have 6 sides. Cube has 6 sides and then 12 edges. So, and 8 corners. It has got 8 corners, 12 edges and 6 sides. So, that bigger cube is being cut into smaller cubes. That bigger cube is being cut into smaller cubes. See, a 12 mm cube is being cut into cubes of 3 mm size means I will have 12 divided by 3 will be 4 pieces. So, 4 pieces in the sense. So, 12 divided by 3 will be 4. The total number of smaller cubes will be 4 into 4 into 4, 64 smaller pieces. The total number of cubes will be 4 into 4 into 4, 64 smaller pieces. So the cube will be like this. The entire thing is 12. It is being divided into cubes of 3 mm. This will be 3, this will be 3, this will be 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So 4 into 3 will be 12. So these are all smaller cubes. So what will happen is this. I will have 4 into 4 into 4, 64 smaller cubes. So 4 into 4 into 4. This side is 4. This side is 4. So 4 into 4 will be 16 pieces. 16 into 4 will be 64 smaller pieces. There will be 64 smaller pieces. Now, because this has been painted, then only cut. The question is, number of cubes that remain unpainted. See, some of them might have a feeling that all the 64 cubes are unpainted. All the 64 cubes are unpainted. It's not like that. See, for example, suppose a good paper sheet has got an ink mark. We will say it has an ink mark in it. It is not necessary for the entire paper to be ink marked. So, what will happen is, they only want cubes which are not at all painted. All the six A should not be painted. All the six A should not be painted. So what happens is here, this corner cube will be painted here. It will also be painted here. It will also be painted here. This side will be cut. This side will be cut. The bottom side also will be cut. So there will be no smaller cube which is painted on more than three sides. There will be no smaller cube which is painted on more than three sides. As far as this cube is concerned, when the cubes are not being removed, painted on more than three sides will be nil. Now painted three sides, this cornerly painted three sides, this cornerly painted three sides, this cornerly painted three sides, this also will be painted three sides. So painted three sides, what happens is painted three sides, painted three sides will be four here, four at the bottom, four here, four at the bottom. So this corner, this corner, this corner, so this corner like that will be four in the bottom, up top and four in the bottom will be painted this sides. There will be no other cubes because all the cubes are getting accounted for. All the cubes are accounted for. So painted three sides will be eight. Painted two, three sides will be eight. Then coming to painted two sides, so what will happen is this cube will be painted this side and this side. This will be painted two sides. This will be painted two sides. Similarly, this also will be painted two sides. This will be painted two sides. This also will be painted two sides. So eight at the top will be painted two sides. Similarly, eight at the bottom will be painted two sides. When come to this side, coming to this side, so this two will be attached here, similarly this two will be attached to the bottom. Whereas this two and this two will be getting attached to the other two sides. So this two plus this two will be four. Opposite side will be four more. Four plus four, eight. Top eight, bottom eight will be 24. Top eight, bottom eight will be 24. Painted one side. Painted one side. So this four cubes will be exposed to only one side. This four cubes, the center four cubes will be exposed to only one side. So this will be painted only one side. A cube has got six sides. Six into four will be twenty-four. Six into four will be twenty-four. Now the requirement of the cube is uh, question is unpainted cubes. Requirement of the question is unpainted. How many unpainted cubes are there? The question is 
how many unpainted cubes are there? So when you arrange these cubes, four to four sixteen will be the bottom row. Second row will be sixteen. Third row will be sixteen. Top row will be sixteen. So whatever cubes are at the top will be painted. Whatever cubes at the bottom will be painted. Whereas these four cubes will not be exposed in the second row and third row. These four cubes will go inside. It will not be exposed in the second row and third row. So four plus four will be eight. When we total this, it will come to sixty-four. So, as far as the answer is concerned, unpainted cubes will be eighteen. Unpainted cubes will be eighteen. I also devised a formula for this. So, painted three sides, whether it is four into four into four, five into five into five, six into six into six, always be eight. Painted two sides will be x minus two into twelve. X minus two into twelve. Here, x is four, so two minus two into twelve. Supposing x is five into five into five, x will be five. Six into six, x will be six. Painted one side is x minus two the whole square into six. X minus two the whole square into six, and unpainted will be x minus two the whole cube. So normally they will be asking all this. They will be asking all this. In course, they have the habit of asking all this. As for this question is concerned, the answer is only eight. We are not arguing ask three sides, two sides, one side. So the answer is eight. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then.